In today's video, we will know what are the transition elements, why they are called so, why the secandium and zinc not considered to be true transition elements, and why the electron configuration of copper and chromium differs. First, transition elements or transition metals are located in the middle of the periodic table, in the deep block of the periodic table. They are considered to be metals. They are called the transition because they represent a transition behavior between the S block metals and the B block nonmetals. They have transition properties between the highly reactive metallic elements of S block and the largely covalent elements of B block elements. Transition elements have to have one or more stable ions in which the D orbitals are incompletely filled. For example, cobalt 3 ion with the electron configuration argon 4s2 3d5 has half filled d orbitals that is why cobalt is considered to be a transition element not all d block elements are considered to be transition elements if you looked at this periodic table the blue box represents the d block elements where the d orbitals are successfully filled with electrons where the red box represents the elements that are considered to be transition elements. You can see that we excluded elements such as secandium and zinc from being transition elements. So why we don't consider secandium or zinc to be transition elements? For elements to be considered transition elements, they need to form a stable ion with partially filled D subshell. For secandium, it has one electron in the 3D subshell and two electrons in the 4S subshell. The only stable ion that can form is a secandium 3 ion, in which both electrons in the 4S and the only electron in the 3D are lost. Because the only stable secandium ion has an empty D subshell, the secandium is not considered to be true transition element. On the other hand, zinc metal has a completely filled D subshell. The stable ion it can form is a zinc 2 ion which has a completely filled D subshell. That is why we don't consider zinc to be transition element as well. Let's look at the configuration of the first transition elements. The 4S orbital is normally completely filled with two electrons and the 3D is successfully filled from left to right of the periodic table. Titanium has two electrons in the 4S and another two electrons in the 3D. The 4S subshell has a slightly lower energy than the 4D. That is why titanium loses the two electrons in the 4S, forming titanium 2 ion. The second transition element is vanadium, which has also 4S completely filled with two electrons, and the 3D has three electrons. Moving to chromium, we expect it to have 4S completely filled with two electrons, and the 3D with four electrons. Instead, we can see that it has one electron in the 4S subshell and five electrons in the 3D subshell. Then moving from manganese to nickel, 4S back again is completely filled with two electrons and the 3D is successfully filled. Till we reach to copper, we can see that it has 4S filled with only one electron and the 3D subshell is completely filled with 10 electrons. So why the electron configuration of chromium and the copper difference? The D subshell has 5 orbitals, each is filled with 2 electrons, giving up a total of 10 electrons for a completely filled D subshell. The most stable state of D subshell is to be half filled with a total of 5 electrons, 1 electron in each D orbital, or completely filled with 10 electrons, with 2 electrons paired in each D orbital. If we apply that to chromium, we can see that for more stable electron configuration, and to minimize the repulsion between the electrons in the 4S, one electron from the 4S moves to the 3D for both 4S and 3D to be half-filled. A similar thing happens with copper. Although we expect the copper to have the electron configuration argon 3D9, 4S2, instead for copper to reduce the repulsion of the 4S subshell and to have more stable electron configuration, and also because the 4S and the 3D energy levels are almost similar in energy, one electron from the 4S moves to the 3D, so the 4S become half-filled and the 3D completely filled with electrons, which is more stable electron configuration.